Hello and welcome to a hometown holiday celebration of the season. I'm Darren Aldridge. And I'm Brooke Aldridge. We're so excited to bring you with us on a holiday journey steeped in music and traditions with Hometown Holiday, our first full-length Christmas release. It's available now on Billy Blue Records on all streaming platforms and our website, darrenandbrookealdridge.com. At the heart of every Christmas lie the memories and magic of being at home with loved ones. In the hustle and bustle of life, it's good to have the opportunity to slow down, reconnect with family and friends. Join us for the next half hour as we celebrate Christmas together. We will be sharing our memories of hometown holidays, growing up, and some of our favorite songs of the season. Let's kick things off with a Dolly Parton tune we love. With Bells On is the perfect song to sum up a typical year in the Darren and Brooke Aldridge world. In a year's time, with a busier music schedule than ever, the words that kick off the first verse couldn't ring more true. It will always remain important for us to make sure we get home to where we were raised in North Carolina for the holidays, to spend much needed time with our families. It's obvious that Dolly Parton felt that same longing in her heart when she wrote the song. As you listen to With Bells On, our hope is that warm memories will take you home to where your heart longs to be at Christmas. Here's With Bells On. Wrap the presents, turn the Christmas music on This Christmas I'll be home with bells on Friends and memories brought joy to others' lives. It's Christmas time again, and another year is coming gone. And I can't keep from wondering how the old books are at home. I'll be home with bells on. I'll be home with bells on. Tram the tree and wrap the presents, turn the Christmas music on. This Christmas I'll be home. around the Christmas lights As Daddy stokes the fire and Mama puts the turkey on There ain't nothing gonna slow me down This Christmas I'll be home I'll be home with bells on I'll be home with bells on Trim the tree and wrap the presents Turn the Christmas music on This Christmas I'll be home with bells on Brooke and I grew up in different small towns in North Carolina. For me, Christmas when I was a kid meant getting ready for our annual church Christmas play, pulling out all of the beautiful Christmas decorations and being so excited knowing that Santa would soon be on his way. My brother and I could hardly sleep on Christmas Eve. We were filled with such excitement, waiting for our parents to open the door to our living room. Once the door opened, our eyes would light up with joy at all the gifts that Santa had left under our tree. I grew up in the shadow of Grandfather Mountain in Avery County. When I was growing up, my family would always gather at my mama and papa's house on Christmas Eve and have a big celebration there. There was lots of food, kids running around having a good time. We'd open gifts and tell stories and play games. 
As the evening went on, it was so magical when Santa Claus would walk through the front door at my mama and papa's and we would sit there and remind him of the things we wanted and then it was time to get home, get ready for bed so he could come and deliver our gifts for that night. It was always so special as a kid. Since Brooke and I have been married, Christmas time back home means anywhere we're at is always home with me as long as Brooke is with me. Whether we're in the mountains or we're at our house in Cherryville or with my family or her family, I always feel special and loved, and that's the true meaning of Christmas, is being with the ones you love and celebrating Jesus' birth. And Christmas Time Back Home is a great bluegrass classic by the country gentleman, and I know a little bit about that. Back up in the mountains in the old hometown of mine, there's not a brighter time of year than that of Christmas time. The bells in the little church, they all begin to chime. Joyce, it's Christmas time. Christmas bells are ringing, I hear the chimes so sweet. The carolers are seen now, I hear them in the street. Outside the white snow's falling, inside my heart I'll find a world of joy and peace on earth back home at Christmas time. I'm Darren Aldridge. And I'm Brooke Aldridge. You're listening to our brand new Christmas release, Hometown Holiday, available on all streaming platforms and our website, darrenandbrookealdridge.com. There's something extra special about seeing Christmas through the eyes of a child. And at this time of year, boys and girls the world over excitedly anticipate the arrival of that jolly old elf. That's right, Brooke. With his long white beard, cherry nose, and eight reindeer pulling his sleigh, there's no doubt about it. It, it must, must be, be Santa. Santa. Who's got a beard that's long and white? Santa's got a beard that's long and white. Who comes around on a special night? Santa comes around on a special night. Special night, beard that's white. Must be Santa. Must be Santa. Must be Santa. Santa Claus. Who wears boots and a suit of red? Santa wears boots and a suit of red. Santa wears a long cap on his head Cap on head, suit that's red 
Did you hear our special guest at the end? That's our sweet little dog, Otis. He's been sharing Christmas with us for 15 years now. We love our little Otis. We also welcome some of our younger family members to sing along with us on Must Be Santa. Big thanks to Dylan, Abby, Katie, Aaron, Delaney, Lottie, and Dayton. Now tell us the truth, Darren. Are you on the nice list this year? Well, you know I am. I stay on the nice list most of the time, don't I? Well, you sure do. You're nice to me, so I guess that's all that matters. (laughs) That's the main thing. We'll know for sure on Christmas morning. Just don't forget to leave out cookies, milk, and carrots. By the time Santa and his reindeer get to North Carolina, they're going to be mighty hungry. You bet they are. I'm Darren Aldridge, and you're listening to a special hometown holiday Christmas celebration. And I'm Brooke Aldridge. We're super excited to be sharing the festive season with you in stories, memories, and songs. One reason Darren and I personally love this time of year is because we got married after Christmas. I think we decided to get married that time of year because the church was already decorated and we were so in love we didn't want to wait any longer. That's right. We had (laughs) planned for what, uh, maybe a May wedding? Yeah. But we both loved Christmas and that time of year and we knew all our family would be together. So we decided to go for it. We were just ready. That's right. December 27th, 2008. It's true. Christmas is a great time to celebrate love. And what better way to stir the fires of holiday romance than with a classic by the Carpenters? Merry Christmas, darling, is one that we have both loved and enjoyed for such a long time listening to it on the radio. And I thought it fit your voice perfectly, so I'm glad you finally recorded it, babe. I am too. How can you go wrong with a Carpenter song? And it's the perfect holiday song that talks about how you shouldn't be alone and these two people long to be with one another. And uh, that's exactly how we feel at Christmas time. Merry Christmas, bro. Merry Christmas, darling. Greeting cards have all been sent. The Christmas rush is through. But I still have one wish to make. A special one for you. Christmas darling We're apart that's true But I can dream And in my dreams I'm Christmasing with you Holiday
love the sparkle and fun of Christmas, but for us, the true joy of the season is found not under the Christmas tree, but in the manger. The birth of Jesus Christ brought hope to mankind when there was nothing left to hope for, and it is because of Him we celebrate. He really is the reason for the season. At Hometown Churches, big and small across the country and around the world, people gather to worship and sing, Glory to the Newborn King. The mystery of God's gift to the world remains as awesome today as it was over 2,000 years ago. Don and Harold Reed of the Statler Brothers wrote of the coming Savior, and who do you think? There are people who are It's hard for us to understand what Mary and Joseph could have been feeling when they were chosen to be the earthly parents of a heavenly child. Humbled by the gift of Jesus, Joseph accepted the opportunity set before him as he and Mary welcomed the holy baby to their family. Songwriter Skip Ewing tells Joseph's story in a song that has become a modern day holiday classic. This is It Wasn't His Child. He was her man, she was his wife. Late one winter night, he knelt by her as she gave birth. But it wasn't his child, it wasn't his child. Yet still he took him as his own, and as he watched him grow, it brought him joy. It wasn't his child It wasn't his child
I'm Darren Aldridge, and you're listening to Songs, Memories, and Stories of Hometown Holiday, our new Christmas release on Billy Blue Records. As tough as it must have been for Joseph to wrap his head around being the chosen earthly father of Jesus Christ, it's even harder to imagine what Mary was going through. She was very young, unmarried, and faced with motherhood in a time and place where social norms were very different than they are today. Despite her fears, the scriptures tell us that Mary relied on her faith and kept the things that she learned close in her heart. Today, we continue to learn from Mary by following her example of faith and acceptance of the good news that Jesus brought from heaven, the good news that God is with us. I have traveled many moonless nights, cold and weary, with a
You've been listening to Songs, Memories, and Stories of Hometown Holiday, our new release on Billy Blue Records. I'm Darren Aldridge. And I'm Brooke Aldridge. Thank you for spending part of your holiday season with us. We hope you've enjoyed the simple delights of a hometown holiday. Whether you find yourselves wrapped in the twinkling lights of a big city, warmed by carols in a small town, or cocooned in a cabin in the mountains, Darren and I wish all of you a blessed Christmas and much joy in the new year. This show was written and produced by Shannon Turner. Engineered by me, Darren Aldridge. Edited by Randy Turner. Thanks everyone for listening to Hometown Holiday with Darren and Brooke Aldridge. Available on all streaming platforms and our website, darrenandbrookealdridge.com.